All right, so we've got the four sides of our box. Now we need to take a look at drawing the bottom. To do that, we're gonna start a new sketch on the inside of one of these holes. So we're gonna go sketch, click on the inside, and that brings everything kind of into perspective. Now, we want the bottom to fit into these teeth marks. So I'm gonna use my project geometry, which was sketch, project include, project, or just hit P on the keyboard, and I'm going to project the inside of all of these tooth, teeth. So it might be a bit tricky to click on them right away, but zooming in and out, you should be able to get it. That one doesn't really want to go. We'll come back to that one. Got that one. This one here may, might have to rotate a little bit in order to, to get it. Alright, so I've got that geometry. So once I've got that all selected, I'm just going to turn off my sides. So you can see a little better what's going on there. Move it so I can, by clicking on the cube here, it brings everything into perspective. And I'm just going to draw a rectangle now. So rectangle, two point. From where these two lines intersect. Down to the bottom. So you can see how it's filled in that space for the bottom. And the projected geometry is all still there. I could go through and trim this up, but I'm not going to worry about it. Hit stop sketch. And now I can go extrude and select that. And I've got to go through, I think, and click on these individual teeth just to make sure that we get all of the data that we need. Now, if I turn back one of these sides, it should give me perspective on how I need to extrude this. So we want to extrude down, so we're filling that gap up. So let's set the distance here to thickness. And you can see, okay, that's going where I need it to be. And we need to set it to new component again, because it's always a new component. And you'll see how it's filled in those boxes. Click OK. And now that's made, made it fit. So if I turn on my other components, you'll see that I've got all the pieces all the way around fitting together. And if you turn off any other components, you can start seeing how they fit together. So if I turn that off, you can see where it fits. So let's just change the name of this to bottom. So now I've got my four sides and the bottom of my box. And we can turn off those construction planes because we're not going to need them anymore. And that gives you a better idea of what you're looking at. Another thing you can do here just to improve your perspective is you can right click go to appearance and you can apply different materials so let's just go paint for now glossy and you click on these and you can drag them over to change the different colors there's not really this isn't helping your design much but what it is doing is just giving you a little little better perspective on um, what the different parts are so you can see see a bit better Ran out of colors there. Let's see what else we've got. Sure, white. No, that one doesn't want to go. Whatever. We've got all the colors there. So we can take this appearance window and close it down. And you can see your box in the different colors, just so it's a little easier to interpret what's going on.